Hello. Hi. Who are you? I'm Ted's mom. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So today I'm going to make some egg curry. And I'll, it's a roasted egg curry. I'm doing the version that my mom has made for us for all these years when she was around. And it comes with very fond memories. Um, and I know it's a curry that uh, my girls have enjoyed eating too whenever I cooked it. It goes well with rice, it goes well with roti, it can go well with just salad. To make this we need some hard boiled eggs, some potato chopped up like mm -hmm. this, and then uh, a good decent amount of uh, onion, and, and garlic and ginger you put as however amount you like, same thing with chilies. And then I have all these spices here, which I'll work out and measure out as I go. Mustard seeds, cumin seeds, fenugreek seeds. Sometimes I put uh, black pe whole black pepper too. And there's some turmeric. Mm -hmm. And there is some homemade curry powder that I make. And that is my mom's recipe. Ah. It's a and what is, what is that made out of? Oh, this has got at least 15 different spices. So basically, One day I'll show you. <laughs> if you if you want to make this recipe, you're going to need to magically deduce the spices that are used to make up this general masala. Yeah. But that will come in a future video, future video. with any luck. Okay. Uh, yeah. All right, let's start. Always I start with the fenugreek because it's a seed that needs a little bit more cooking before it will give its flavors out. And what oil have you put down there? I've got vegetable oil. How Maybe. much? It's just shallow enough to oh, cover yeah. the bottom. Oh, hang on. Read rack, read rack. There's one stage I have missed. Before even I start putting my spices in, I have to roast the eggs. So you'll hear this popping sound. So be careful. I'm going to put a bit of salt in here so that it doesn't splatter everywhere. There you go. I'll boil the eggs um, and roast the eggs. What are you doing there? I'm just splitting it a bit so it doesn't explode. Ah. Look at that bit. This bit. <laughs> <laughs> I went straight on to putting my spices in. So that was a little bit of a... Little detour, a little, little teaser of what's <laughs> to come. <laughs> what's to come. <laughs> so this has got a bit of water in it. So, oh. <laughs> so when you put a bit of salt in it, it salt helps the water well, I'm gonna stand back here where it's safe. Don't try the well. Do try this at home, but uh, do it with do it responsibly. Do it responsibly. Do not repeat what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> I bang that up. You start at the medium, low to medium heat, not too high. Okay. So you want to gently brown the eggs. Oh, make it golden, like, um, see how it is over here, but the, the seeds are, oh, the seeds are not a good idea. I'll put a bit of, a bit more salt to stop it from fluttering everywhere. Salt helps. See, it can Master like chef, yeah. frightened of her own cooking. <laughs> <laughs> see how it's becoming nice and crusty? That's how they need to be. You could keep roasting it or you can just stop it here. It's your, your choice how much crust how much crust you like. So I think I want just that much crust. Okay. <laughs> so I'm gonna take this out and put a little bit of extra oil. So next stage would have been to pop those fenugreek which has popped. Which you there. already popped. <laughs> Pre popped. Pre popped. And then you put your um, cumin seed. I like black pepper, so I'm gonna put some black pepper too. Okay, so this is using the same oil that you used yeah. for roasting the eggs. Yes, yeah, so okay. Because you try and save with all this global warming and everything, you don't want to waste too much. How do you know that you've put enough of these um, okay. uh, these spices that's in? Much that's what I saw my mother do. <laughs> okay. So now I'm going to put some turmeric. 
Looks like you've put in one and a half teaspoons. Yeah, oh, two teaspoons. Turmeric is good, so you can put more. This is the the masala, masala. mix, the secret secret, secret spices recipe. of the kernel. Yep, that goes there. I'll give it a bit of a stir. Okay, and then I then I think I'll put the little bit of onion. Just to cool the temperature a little bit of the oil. Then I'm going to put my um, for that much of garlic um, eggs and potatoes. I probably put two heat teaspoons of garlic. Okay. okay. And that is with 12 eggs? Yes, yeah, 12 eggs. 12 yes. eggs, yes. and it looks like you've got about two cups of potatoes or more, two and oh, a half maybe cups? Maybe three, three cups of chunky cut up. Maybe. What I do for one, one, for one egg, I allow one small baby potato. Okay, but if so you like, a one on one. Yeah, yeah. But if you like a lot of potatoes, you can put more potatoes. Same thing with the ginger. So how many? That was like three. This was maybe two teaspoons. Two cheese. teaspoons. And garlic was maybe three. I think. Yeah. Put chili. This chili is very hot, so I don't want to put too much. But they won't be able to eat it. The rest of the onion. Put them all in there. Onion goes well with potatoes, so that's why I've got a lot of onion in there. Cook it through for a little bit. Do we need to cook it until it's the onions are soft? Soft, yeah, yeah. While it's getting a little bit cooked and soft, I'll quickly go and cook my own organic curry leaves. So if you're a real master chef, you will grow your own curry, curry leaves, isn't that right? That's right. So this is my curry. Oh, what was that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm allergic to bees. The bees will kill me. Then there will be no curry cooked. So you cut up your curry leaves. Yeah, just rinse this out a bit because it was a little bit dry and dusty. So I like um, curry leaves chopped up. So I normally scoop it off, all the hard bit out from the middle like this. So this is you cutting up the the curry, curry leaves, leaves that you just picked from the garden. Yeah. That's right, and they're really good. And all these greens are very good, especially with coronavirus. We need to eat a lot of things with a lot of vitamins and minerals. Ow, ow! <laughs> <laughs> okay, all the major things are there, all the flavors are there. I promise she's a very professional cook. <laughs> yeah, now I'm going to put, save the water so that my aloe vera, when I burn, <laughs> when I burn my hand, aloe vera is very good. So if you burn your hand, quickly put a, break a bit of aloe vera like this. Let me show you. See how there's a nice sap there? You just put it on your burn. Like the other day I did get burnt. See, there's a bit of a burn there. And it really helps. So I keep watering put it. Put it back. <laughs> so I keep watering my aloe vera. So that it's ready for me for when I burn my, when I burn my hand. Yeah, this is all meticulously thought out. Potato. In first. We're still on low. Yeah, still on low. Okay, now goes the eggs. Make sure the eggs don't break whenever you stir them. Why not? Well, then it will become <laughs> it will become mushy. <laughs> you want to see that we actually had egg in your food. See how nice it looks with the greens. Very good for coronavirus. I, I think curry leaves should be very good for coronavirus. Mm -hmm. At the moment, I haven't discovered any antibiotics. That's, that should be good for them. Do you like it soupy or do you like it? Uh, I prefer it dry. Dry, okay. Then I should have cut the potatoes smaller. I'll do a quick publicity shot here if, if you want to look over. Give a smile. There we go. Cameras are on the left, over there. There we go, thank you. I want to put this a little bit here because I don't want to waste my chilies. Chilies are good for coronavirus too. Okay? Yeah. So use chilies if you've got coronavirus. They'll kill all the chilies. 
Yep, yeah, this is why you are a practicing doctor. <laughs> okay, I'm going to get a knife to do the Please don't take my mother's medical advice. So, if you cut the potatoes smaller, then you don't have to add too much water to this thing. Let me use the wooden spoon now. This is about 20 years old. Not 20 years, maybe, maybe 15 years old. Okay, very good, authentic coconut spoon. Very nice. So what you're saying is that you can make two versions of this curry with yes. the same base ingredients yes. depending on whether you want it to be a dry curry or a soupy curry. That's exactly right. I have to cut the potatoes smaller because otherwise it will take too long to cook. And everyone will starve by then. This comes from a lot of experience. You can sort of work out how to improvise and chop and change your recipes. Literally chop Which, and change. <laughs> chop and change. So if you would like to have soupy egg curry, then you add, keep the potatoes in chunky bits like I had originally, but add um, uh, two cups of water to that. But if you want um, dry <coughs> curry, then you cut your potatoes a bit thin and small so that it can get cooked easily. When I retire from teaching, I think I'll probably become a egg, no, not egg curry, I'll become a curry, curry streamer. Does that sound all right? Sure. <clears throat> and if people pay me well, I can send them recipes. I'll be happily sending them recipes. And I will also send them my own secret curry powder. Oh really? You're gonna you're not gonna tell that to people well, for free. I might have to charge extra for when I am doing secret recipes. So there'll be two versions of my streaming. One is like normal, where it doesn't really matter. And some are these family heirlooms that if people want to How cool that would be if I become a streamer. So now I'm going to use the coconut spoon again. So what I have to do now if you want this to cook up the potatoes, I have to shut the lid and let the moisture from the potatoes to cook it. ta -da! Oh, I better check the salt, so if there's enough salt. Hmm, I have to add more salt, so the salt be this. So now I'm going to adjust the flavor. We need salt. I don't think there was enough salt before. Okay, so a bit of salt and a bit more chilies because it didn't seem like it had enough chilies. There you go. Now, I use my coconut spoon. And this is my apron from Japan. Yeah? That apron is from Japan. Ah. And the spoon is from Bali. Where are the slippers from? Oh, that's Australian slippers. <laughs> <laughs> and this is authentic turmeric from Fiji. Oh uh, yeah? How did you get that through customs? Smuggled it. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There you go. I'll sit it for like maybe five minutes. I'll stir and check the condition of the potato. And then I will... Um, uh, Further five minutes if it needs more cooking. Dram! Scrub off all the spices that get stuck to the bottom of the pot, otherwise, they'll burn. You don't want to let anything get burned because it changes the flavor. So, now I'm gonna check if the potato is cooked by cutting through with this thing. I have a feeling we'll need a bit more time. Maybe another five minutes would be just nice. Whoa. Okay. Good, looking good. It's not burnt yet, so just give it a spray to the bottom, allowing the steam to cook the potatoes. Okay, it's nearly done. I think it can come on. What do you think? Yeah. Some cauliflower. Oops. Trying to do a really nice panning shot. <laughs> <laughs> I need to keep the focus. 
There we go. Mmm. <laughs> so, what's your rating for your for this meal? Mmm. Definitely ten out of ten. Okay. Good. Good. Wow. Very humble. Mm. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.